guys, Adam from 100K Blueprint here, just shooting a quick video. Uh, I wanted to outline a great plugin. This is actually a free plugin called WP Touch. They do have a paid version, but what I'm showing you here is the free version. Um, and this is a plugin that uh, will convert any WordPress site um, into a mobile friendly uh, application, basically. Um, so, regardless of, of what theme you're using now, um, if you upload this plugin, um, anybody who views your site from a uh, iPad or a mobile device um, will be able to view it properly. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll just show you really quickly the settings. Once you upload the plugin to uh, your site, um, there's a number of settings here um, that you want to change. Nothing really uh, difficult here though. Um, I'm just going to go through the settings really quickly here. So under general settings here, um, normally uh, you can leave this is, uh, at the default settings. Um, unless you want to specifically exclude any categories or tags, uh, you may not want to show uh, any of these uh, and there are options for that further down. Um, again, essentially for that part, I, I usually leave that default. Under advanced options, what we have the uh, option of doing here is uh, checking out whether we do or don't want to show the uh, categories or tags. Usually I, I won't show the uh, tags as an option. Categories, depending on the site, I may or may not show them. In this case, I am showing them. Um, and there's a number of other options here, but uh, I usually leave uh, comments on and uh, grafters on as well. Uh, so not a whole lot uh, that has to be done there. Usually under push notifications um, for, for a basic application, there's uh, nothing we need to do there. Style and color, there, there are a number of... Um, options as far as the background goes for, for the free version here. You have uh, six different choices. Um, the paid version of this theme uh, does give you um, much more flexibility in terms of uh, how you can make it look. So if you wanted the, uh, the uh, mobile theme to look identical to your, um, or very close to your uh, current theme, um, you'd want the paid version. But in, in this case here, these ones, uh, they, they definitely do the job uh, for most applications. Under advertising, uh, stats and custom code, um, fair number, fair amount of stuff you can do here. This particular site that I'm working on doesn't have any ads on it, um, so I just left that blank. Um, one thing that's kind of neat here is you can add custom icons to the uh, site, and it's got a bunch of them in here by default. I haven't added any yet, but there are a few that I'll have to add. And further down here under the uh, menu items and page icons, uh, what we do here is we can select what's going to show up in the menu over here. So we want the about page for this instance or this particular site, the blog and the contact. Uh, and then I have to talk to uh, the site owner to ask them what other content they want. But what we can do here is we can select an icon. So for example, um, I've selected the contacts icon under contact and I'll have to upload or create an icon for the blog and the about section and then depending on what other uh, sections she uh, she wants to add on there in the menu I may have to add more um, icons but very easy to do uh, you can upload the icons right here and it tells you the size that they need to be and all the other information that you need Once you've activated the, the uh, plugin and you've configured all the settings to the way you like, um, save the options, and it's as simple as that. And what's going to happen now is uh, when the site's viewed from a mobile device, it's automatically going to be detected, and um, you're going to uh, be able to see the mobile-friendly version of the site. And what I'll do here is uh, try to set up a, another camera here or another video camera here so I can uh, show you guys uh, how I, I changed this site or I made the site mobile friendly in basically about five minutes um, and it looks decent so I'll just give me one sec here and I'll set this up and you guys can see how it looks hey guys so what I've done here is I have the uh, I've, I've actually deactivated the plugin so you can see what the site looks like uh, with the unoptimized mobile theme so this is the Traditional theme, uh, just you know, traditional WordPress blog. Um, obviously, not user friendly for mobile uh, searchers. Um, so what I'll do here now, just on my machine, I'm going to activate the plugin, 
which I've already uh, configured. You guys saw uh, what I did to uh, set it up. It took me about five minutes. And then I'll refresh the site here so you can see what it did. Um, so this is basically the mobile version. You can see, I mean, there's some changes that need to be made. I haven't, for example, the, the, the image size and whatnot um, can be played around with here. But uh, all in all, for five minutes of work uh, and a free plugin, it does a really nice job of uh, making a site much more uh, user-friendly for mobile uh, users. Up at the top here, this is the... Um, Sorry, this is the uh, what, what I set up for the uh, menu here, um, and you can see the icons there that, that I was talking about. You can customize all those icons, and you can basically um, add any sections that you want here. And uh, so we go to the about page, and that's essentially it here. Much more user friendly, and again, very fast and easy to uh, set up. Any of you guys can do it. And uh, a lot of you probably won't even need the uh, paid version unless you want the uh, background and, and the actual theme to look uh, exactly like your uh, regular uh, blog. Hope you guys found this helpful. Have a uh, great day.